a few more lessons from my pop hooray stat quest hello i'm josh starmer and welcome to stat quest today we're going to talk about a few more lessons from my pop this stat quest is brought to you by the letters a b and c a always b b c curious always be curious if you don't already know, September 4th is Global Frank Starmer Day. And this year, just like we've done in the past three years, we're going to celebrate by going over three ways he influenced me. Number one, do what you love. When I was a little kid, I couldn't tell you exactly what my pop did at work. But I knew it had something to do with computers and health. And even though I didn't understand the details of what he was doing, I still thought it was the coolest thing ever, and I hoped that one day I could work with computers and health. I think one of the reasons I was inspired by my pop's work is that he really loved it. He was pretty much always excited about his work. He'd always say, The work I do always gives me a great excuse for getting out of bed each morning. Another reason I was inspired by him was it seemed like he was making the world a better place. Again, I didn't know the details, but I thought my pop was helping people with heart trouble. And helping people seemed like a really cool thing to do. So, at every step of my career, I've tried to find jobs that excited me and made me feel like I was helping make the world a better place. Bam! Number 2 the world is awesome. When I was a kid, my pop used to do a lot of traveling all over the world. And everywhere he would go, he would make friends. I mean, you could probably name any country and my pop probably had a friend there. And as I've grown older and started to travel more on my own, I've realized that I can make friends in new places too. The good news is that there is no magic to making friends. People are just awesome everywhere. But my pop was the one that showed me that it was possible. And, as a result, I feel like my life is a lot better knowing that there are so many awesome people in the world. Double bam! Number 3. Everything is an experiment. When I was a kid, my pop did all kinds of things. Some of the stuff he did made sense. But some of it didn't. So I'd ask, what are you doing? And he'd say, an experiment. And it turned out that no matter what he was doing, if you asked, hey, what are you doing? Then he'd say, an experiment. Thinking of everything as an experiment has had a huge influence on my life. When I have to do something scary, like give a presentation in front of a lot of people, I think of it as an experiment. When I think of it as an experiment, success isn't just about giving the best presentation ever. Instead, success becomes answers to questions like, what did I learn from the experience? And, what could I do to improve? So, instead of getting scared or worried about a big, complicated-looking equation or algorithm, or having to give a big presentation, because it's just an experiment... I get really excited because I'm going to learn something new. Triple bam. Happy birthday, Pop. And now it's time for some shameless self-promotion. If you want to review statistics and machine learning offline, check out the StatQuest PDF study guides and my book, The StatQuest Illustrated Guide to Machine Learning, at statquest.org. There's something for everyone. Hooray! We've made it to the end of another exciting stat quest. If you like this stat quest and want to see more, please subscribe. And if you want to support stat quest, consider contributing to my Patreon campaign, becoming a channel member, buying one or two of my original songs, or a t-shirt or a hoodie, or just donate. The links are in the description below. Alright, until next time, quest on!